Welcome to the Bay City Christian uh, program. And today, um, we hope you enjoy um, what we practice, and we hope that you enjoy it. Let's open with a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you that everyone could get here safely. Um, I thank you for the talents you've given everyone here today. I pray that you would just calm their nerves and that we could have a good program today. In Jesus' name, amen. hands. There's nothing to worry about. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, no, 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 no. Believe me, by the end of the day, we'll be completely cast. There's nothing to worry about. Uh-huh. Um, will you just give me a second? Roger, stop texting your girlfriend. I asked you to set up the tables and chairs and see if anyone has come yet. They're here? Well, I assure you we'll be cast by the end of the day, 
And this year's production of Romeo and Juliet will be the best one yet. Okay, I'll let you know once we have our two leads. Roger, set up the tables. The actors are waiting outside. Come on, let's go, let's go. Hi, my name's Melissa Nicow. Thank you so much for seeing me. A little tense. Hi, my name's Melissa Nicow. Thank you so much for seeing me. Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm Melissa's acting coach, but just here for moral support, so ignore me, I'll just be over here. Well, normally I just prefer to see the actors alone, but okay, I guess I can't allow it. Great, you won't even know I'm here. So should we just jump right in? Did you prepare a monologue or scene? A monologue, I memorized it last week. Okay, well, whenever you're ready. Great intensity, keep going. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Projection, Melissa. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. I'm missing your consonants, Melissa. Deny, deny. to stop you there. Um, I'm gonna have to ask you to wait outside. Roger, could you just... <sighs> Very well then. I leave it in your hands now. Remember, voice, eye contact, objectives. Hit the ends of every word. Yes! <laughs> I will! <clears throat> Should we just start this again from the top? Um, this time, just be yourself. Have fun. Oh, Romeo. R Romeo. Where forth art thou, Romeo? I'm sorry. It's mine. I'll just. Uh... It was my doctor. Okay, um. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Next. Joe Romano. I uh, got this thing to read. The thing with the lines. Great. And the addition scene? The one that reads Romeo. I'm going to read that. Because I saw the other one and I was like, not this guy. I ain't no Juliet. Of course not. Um, just start where it says, my sweet. All right, just, uh, give me a second. You got this, Joe. Yeah, Joe, you got this. Yeah, Joe, you got this. <sighs> My sweet, by the hour of nine. Okay, nine, and I shall stay right here and forget any other home but this. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna stop you right there. I was just about to get to the good stuff. It's just, I feel like maybe we're going down the wrong road. It's just, you seem to be playing the scene with a lot of anger, and I'm not so sure Romeo is this angry in the scene. This is where Romeo and Juliet are declaring their love for one another. It should be sweet and passionate. Yeah, passionate. That's what I'm doing, like, I love you so much I want to punch the wall! Okay, next. Hi, thanks for coming. Thank me. Thank you. I mean, you. Thank you. And what do you got for us today? Uh, a monotog. A monotog? Do you mean a monologue? Yeah. Great, whenever you're ready. 
But south, what light through the window? There, a oh, Romeo. I, uh, I, I uh, love you. Yeah, that's it. We should, uh, we should kiss. That's all I got. I'm sorry, was that supposed to be a monologue? Look, it was really hard to memorize it, but if you cast me, I'll memorize it and all the other lines and stuff too. Y you will? Yeah. Probably. I don't know, maybe? Okay, thanks for coming. Next. Hi, my name's Marie McConville. Thank you so much for seeing me. Hi, thanks for coming. Did you prepare a monologue or scene? A monologue, if that's all right with you. Works for me whenever you're ready. A Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. But if thou wilt be, but sworn my love. Okay, great work so far. Um, I want you to keep going. I just want to make one minor adjustment. Your hands in your pockets, it's a little distracting. Is it? Yes, it just makes you seem really stiff. I'm sorry. I just don't know what to do with my hands. I just feel like they could be, you know, distracting. Well, try not to worry about it. Just, you know, be yourself. Have fun. Give it a shot. Great, just keep going where you left off. Tis but thy name that is thine enemy. Thou art not thou self, though not a monogu. What's a monogu? Okay. Um, what is that? What? Your hands. Why are you swinging and clapping then? I told you, I don't know what to do with my hands, so I thought, well, this is what I do when I talk about boys, so, you know, I'll try that. Next. Hello, are you? Ex. Excuse me? Um, next. Uh huh, uh huh. Well, then she's walking. I want 5% on the back end, or she's walking. Okay, 2.5% and a sliding scale on the merch, and you got yourself a deal. Okay, Charlie's wants her own dressing room, 10% of the door on top of her usual salary, and a bowl of Skittles at every rehearsal and every performance. Chocolate cover Skittles, or she walks. Um, I'm sorry, this is a community theater. We don't pay anybody, let alone give anybody a cut of our box office. Okay, just uh, give me a second. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, my client is willing to work for half of her usual salary and only take 5% of the box office, but the chocolate cover Skittles are not negotiable. Um, I'm sorry, have you ever worked at a community theater? There's no money and walking! We're walking. You just made a big mistake. Charlie's fine gold is gonna own this town. Own this town. Next.
money in the face recently? You remember that? Yeah, you punched me so hard I peed my pants. <laughs> you peed in his pants? Oh. <laughs> August, I was wondering if you wanted to go to the spring formal with me. Yes, of course! I, <clears throat> I mean, yes. Yes, I will. Um, I can pick you up at six. Yeah, that sounds perfect. <laughs> uh, what color dress are you going to wear? It doesn't matter. <laughs> but it should matter. I ended up in a hideous abomination of Keisha Bond <laughs> that my mother made. I look like some kind of personalized Russian <laughs> visual. <laughs> anyway, we head off to Chase China for an elegant dinner at the most expensive
Tongue out, tongue in. Tongue out, tongue in. Tongue out, this is tongue stupid. in. No talking. Now, we shake it out. <laughs> no talking. <laughs> now, we scan the skies. Ramona. If you're talking, you'll miss it in everything. We'll be ruined. Stop exaggerating. Don't look at me. Look up. But. Up, up, up. OK. A four-leaf clover, a rabbit's foot, pennies in a fountain, all of these are common examples of lucky charms. Aye, they're always after me lucky charms. But for Ramona St. Pierre, it was burritos. Ramona, we're 16, we're not kids anymore. Drew didn't come today, or Natalie, or James, or Lynn. I could have had a date today, Mona. Sam Stevens asked me to go to the movies, and I really wanted to go. Ramona, look at me. Remember the burrito. I know, I know, I know about the burrito. We're not kids anymore. But we were, though. We were seven years old. It was the first day of winter. Ramona, I know the story. I was there. Eyes up. I'm telling the tale. It was the first day of winter. We were seven years old. It was at Natalie's birthday sleepover party. And we all ran outside to catch the first snowflake on the first snowfall on the first day of winter. Because when you catch the first snowflake on the first snowfall on the first day of winter, any wish you make will come true. We stood in Natalie's backyard. Ramona, Jenny, Drew, James, Lynn, Natalie. Best friends till the end. With our, our, with our heads back, arms open wide, and tongue out. And we all made the same wish, right? But what do we wish for? Burritos. And what did we have for dinner? Burritos. And did we know we were having burritos? It could have been a Christmas. And did we know we were having burritos? No. And did we not make a pact? A double spit, high hand, shoulder slap, double hip pact to come together on the first snowfall on the first day of winter to catch the first snowflake. Mona, I don't spit anymore, it's gross. Non-believers, all of you, we made that wish and it came true. We wished for burritos, burritos. We could have had money, fame, guys, health, happiness. It happened once, it has to happen again. Did you just add guys to the list? I know it wasn't a burrito coincidence. It was the world's colliding to create a magical wish euphoria. The first day of winter, the first snowfall, the first snowflake. It can't be a one-time thing. It can't, it just can't. Hey, Mona, do you want a boyfriend? What? Well, I've been hearing this first snowflake wish euphoria speech for years now. Money, fame, health, happiness, and now guys? So, maybe I'm changing things up. Ramona St. Pierre! Oh, shut up. You're looking for a date. What? So what? It's nothing. Don't be ridiculous. I was looking at formal dresses. Ramona St. Pierre! Shut up. You're a girl. You want to go to prom. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I'm a girl. This is a happy day. I'm not talking about this anymore. Do you want mermaid or A-line? Eyes up, eyes up. Do you know what color? No talking. I think Ted Levine likes you. Remember the burrito or go away. I can do this on my own if I have to. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Burrito forever, be bye burrito. Well, that's excessive. Silver Sand Empire with a bead of bodice and a bow in the back. If you're asking, and Taylor Levine is very cute. I didn't say anything. Good. Silver is definitely your color. I thought you weren't saying anything. I can talk to Taylor in English if you'd like. Burrito, Jenny. Burrito. Mona, look. No talking. At the sky, at the clouds, it's snow sky. What? The first snowflake of the first snowfall of the first day of winter. Oh, my Lanta. This is it. I'm wishing for you, Ramona. I need all the help I can get. Head back and tongue out. Balea, balea, balea!
night wind
From the uh, nervous introduction to the beautiful message that the uh, high school uh, student performed, uh, I'd like to thank the Lord for all of our students and uh, the abilities that God has given to them. Uh, one of the things that I uh, most enjoy uh, about uh, our school is the fine arts opportunities that our students have with the idea that they have a chance to learn things that they'll use in their local church for the rest of their lives. And uh, so today perhaps was a beginning of that as they begin to continue or they continue to learn uh, and be able to get in front of people and to be able to react and minister and bless other people's hearts. Uh, and that is one of the things that we enjoy watching and seeing of the young people as they grow older and get to a spot where they're able to do that. And someday they will be in charge, they will be leaders, and they will be leading local churches in in ministry, and we're just grateful for uh, the part that we're able to have in that. We're grateful for you as parents and friends and uh, relatives that are, are here today uh, to be able to uh, support uh, your friends and your students that are here. So we thank you for that. There are four people we'd like to recognize. Uh, first of all, at the piano there, that's Miss Offord. Uh, she does an awful lot. Go ahead, give her a little round of applause there. She is behind the scenes. She organizes an awful lot of things from the who wears what and how they get it back in and clean it and put it all in nice order, and she's fantastic in that. And so we thank the Lord for her. Mr. Felber is next. This is... This obviously is his first year with us, and so we thank the Lord for bringing him here and giving us a flexibility uh, that we didn't have last year, and so we appreciate the Lord for him. And uh, Mrs. Luther is over there. She has been a, it's five people, I just got an arrow pointed over that way. Uh, she has been with us for a number of years now. Um, in leading all of it, she used to be responsible for everything, and I've been grateful that we we're able to separate it, and so they can concentrate a little bit, uh, concentrate a little bit better on various things. And so our music program is growing and developing, and we thank the Lord for uh, both of them. Over away in the back there, high uh, by herself, lonesome. She, she had a friend there a second ago. Uh, that's Mrs. Ray. She is our art teacher, and if. And if you take a look at the table on your way out, if you didn't see it coming in, some of the art pieces, uh, it's really kind of awe-inspiring the amount of talent that some of these young people have in, in doing drawings. They're almost as good as the stuff that I can do. So I didn't put my stuff out there because it would be embarrassing to them. Of course, that's really not even close to being true. 
but thank the Lord for them. And so watch that. And Mrs. Ray has been, done a great job in, uh, in just developing uh, the talent that God has given a lot of these young people. And then Miss Weldy there. <laughs> she is kind of responsible for our, our, um, our what part of it, the speech part of it, and some of those, these works with uh, each of the speech people, and uh, that added to it, and coming up, we'll be inviting you to a big Shakespeare play, and she was instrumental in that as well, and so that part of our program. So previously, one week ago, we had our awards program for our sports and for our, our, our winter sports. Uh, tonight was, though, was the night for those that uh, have abilities to be displayed in a different area. So again, thank you for coming. Uh, we appreciate you and being able to support our young people in this way. So let's pray and we'll be dismissed. Lord, we thank you for what you have allowed us to be able to have here uh, at Bay City Christian School. I thank you for all the teachers, and especially tonight. I thank you for those that are involved in the fine arts program. We thank you, Lord, for their dedication to you and the assistance that they're providing with these students to help them develop their talents to use for your honor and glory. May everything we do here at this place truly do that, uplift the name of Christ, and all we say and do, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for coming. You are dismissed. <laughs>